Now that you've learned all about macronutrients, micronutrients, fiber intake, it's time to start putting it into practice and balancing your plate. In today's lesson, we'll talk about how to use your hands to help you portion and balance your plate. So with the hand method, you can use this anywhere. You can use it at home, you can use it when you're eating out, when you're with family and friends. So you don't have to have a scale or you don't have to use an app to track your macros or your calories. All you need is your hands. A few things to consider before we start to learn more about the plate and the hands. Keep it simple, balance your plate, and try to do it every time that you eat, but also don't get too overwhelmed about it. So one meal at a time. If you mess up or one meal is not so great, pick back up at the next meal. It's not an all or nothing situation. Just next time, try to do a little bit better. Always eat when you're hungry. Always stop when you're 80% full. Eat slowly, practice consistency, and make adjustments slowly. You might be thinking, if I eat when I'm hungry every time, then I'm always gonna be eating because I'm always hungry. Okay, right when you think that you're hungry, think about it. Am I actually hungry? Right now, if I were to fill my plate up with nutritious foods, would I want to eat it? If the answer is yes, then you are probably hungry. If the answer is no, maybe you're thirsty, maybe you're bored, maybe you're, it's just a habit for you to eat while you're doing what you're doing. If you're watching TV or you're feeding your child or whatever it is, maybe it's a habit. So it's going to be really important as you use this method that you tune in, you become aware and you reflect because if you eat every time you're hungry, when you're not actually really hungry, then that can cause an issue. And this will get easier over time. So you might start out where maybe you aren't that hungry, but you have to fix your plate anyways because you know that you should be eating. But as long as you're filling your, your plate up with vegetables and fruits and whole grains and protein, nutritious foods, your body is going to tell you when you're full and when you're hungry, and it will be get, it will get easier over time. So just trust the process, start, and try to keep going. Now that I've talked all about it, let's watch some slides on it. After looking at the slides and learning about the balanced plate using your hands and then the anytime meal and the post-workout meal, you might automatically be like, oh, I'm going to jump right into the anytime meal and the post-workout meal. It has less carbs in the anytime meal and I know that less carbs works for me and yada, yada, yada. But it's really important that you do not start out with lower calories or more restriction. So you want to find 
that happy place, maybe it's where your weight stays the same for a little bit, but you're eating more. So try balancing with your hands first, balancing each meal the same way, becoming consistent so you start to eat two meals a day like that, three meals a day, and then four meals every single day of the week and see what happens. You might find that you are able to reach your goals by doing that. So starting out with the more intense or the more extreme is definitely not recommended because then you might be stuck there. So the only thing you can do if your goal is this if your goal is to lose weight, the only thing you would be able to do from there is to lower your calories even more. So we always want to start out higher and take off from there. So be sure to start with balancing with your hands, including carbs at every meal. And then if you've done that for months or maybe a year, then move on to tweaking to the anytime and the post-workout meal, maybe just some days a week, not all days a week. So we want to take this slow approach, small changes and tweaks at a time. Another thing that people can get hung up on is they feel like they need something super rigid or super laid out um, and it's not simple. So this might look very simple, might look too easy, might look, you might think to yourself, this is not going to work for me. What I want you to do is to just try it. What we need to have a healthy lifestyle is to have healthy habits that are sustainable forever. We can't do that if we have a rigid meal plan that's given to us that is so hard to follow that we only follow it for three or four weeks and then we just throw in the towel. We need to be able to make our own decisions around food. We need to know what's healthy and what's going to help us reach our goals and what's not. So give it a try and see what happens. And finally, just to wrap up, today we're going to focus on balancing our plate using the hand guide play around with it if you have any questions you can always reach out but next time you eat see what you can do with your plate see what you can do with your hands try to balance with protein vegetables healthy carbohydrates a little bit of fats drink your water let's start today if you want to start jotting down what you're eating on um, paper or in Word document so that you can send it to me. I'm more than happy to review some of your logs. You can send those over after you get three or four days worth and I can help you tweak. Um, Just be as detailed as possible. You do not have to do this, but if that's something that you're interested in, I'm always here for that. You can just email it to me, let me know, and hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow.